Hello, hi. Uh, I'm the person behind Best Unintentional ASMR. Uh, and yes, I'm actually a real person and it's good to finally meet you. I'm here in Berlin right now and wherever you are, thank you so much for watching uh, my videos and, and my collections. And I do this just as a hobby. And uh, yeah, as the, uh, this isn't a typical ASMR video as the title suggests. Uh, it's something that I discovered by accident today I'm, I'm <laughs> and I was pretty pretty stoked about it so I thought I'd make a short video. Yeah, as the title already suggests, we kind of made it to BBC first of all and second of all we kind of managed to make uh, the Bob Ross of stone carving kind of famous which is pretty cool I think. And I thought because I haven't watched the full video yet we could watch it together but then uh, I also have some ideas how we can maybe support this guy so i would urge you to stay until the end of the video so yeah and um, maybe just to give a bit of background uh, this is my my little channel here one of my most famous videos is this one about a welsh stone carver which has over two million views i'm kind of proud of this video because it was one of my first videos and uh, I kind of discovered this guy by accident because I was looking for different artists and I was looking for Japanese glass blowers and I accidentally found this guy and maybe I kind of overdid it with the audio because it's like panning from the left to the right but still uh, this video was quite popular and I'm quite happy that it did so well so um, I'm not gonna let the full video play here, but if you haven't watched it, it uh, would be nice if you could watch it. And um, this guy is basically uh, making a dragon to a tombstone, I think, but uh, that's not really what matters most. I think what's attracted people to this video is, is the personality of the stone carver. His name is Ewan Rees, and um, he really drops some great wisdom in this video about uh, the artistic process and he's very gentle and calm and I think this is why this video became quite popular. Now interestingly like one or two years later after me uploading this video in my feed I suddenly saw this one video by BBC which is called ASMR Welsh stone carver is unintentional YouTube star BBC News and uh, obviously I was pretty uh, interested to to look at it and just so you know the description is veteran stone carver Ewan Rees 78 from Wales has become an unintentional ASMR star with a video of him practicing his craft amassing more than 2 million views and I think this is my video and um, I haven't watched the full one yet so maybe we could do it together I thought try and find the right words uh. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. I'm going to start from scratch, please. This guy is so incredibly cute. He looks a bit different than in the video, but uh, yeah. It seems that my name has become very worldwide known, very embarrassingly for me, because of a video this is amazing um, because as you can see here this is my video unintentional ASMR Welsh stone carver tapping gently and sharing wisdom this is in fact my video so I knew it I'm pretty proud about it and um, and yeah I wasn't sure if it was really my video but this is like 19 minutes and the hammer here, this is precisely my video, I'm sure now. On calligraphy and carving, which apparently has, has a huge following, and you know, it's a total surprise in every kind of way, uh, in the thousands, if not in a million hits. The Wales one is only for saying this thing. But, you know, I think Wales do, do even better in rugby than they are, although they're doing very well at present, but I would they would. This is incredible. Um, yeah, this is specifically what happened. So the original videos were um, created by Artisan Media Limited. And that's also where I found the videos and I put them together, like three or four of them. And I edited the video 
um, and the audio quite significantly. But obviously credit goes to artists and media and also the original creator. But it's just so funny that basically our channel and um, my channel uh, made it to, to BBC. That's quite, quite hilarious, actually. Do better still. If the Welsh drag or the Welsh flag was a little more vicious. My voice, and this is so damn embarrassing, seems to calm people down. God knows why. But they love the combination of my sound of my voice, what I had to say from my heart, and the sound of the chisel in the, on the slate. That's in fact true. I think he has a, a quite beautiful voice and um, the, the tapping of his chisel does really, uh, for me, it works really well for ASMR purposes. And um, I don't know why he's embarrassed about this, but uh, I think it's super cute. Oh. If people want to do something, they should follow it, whatever the cost. What would I want to do before I die? I don't know. One of the things I'd love to do is to go to a desert island and not have any people around me at all for a while. Do what you want to do, but be aware of the fact that you might be poor for the rest of your life, but it's, it's, it's worth it. Perhaps I shouldn't be humble. Perhaps I should accept the fact this is what life has brought me to and I should perhaps cherish it and, and, and hope that it continues. Yeah, so honestly, even though it's a bit of a short video, I was kind of happy and kind of proud um, because, yeah, um, he noticed that we enjoy his, his videos and that we enjoy his vi wisdom and that we really appreciate not only his art, but also his, his gentle soul. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And um, I think you guys just watching this video have uh, definitely contributed to this as well. But at the same time, then I thought, hmm, um, did we really help him out so much? Um, because, I mean, at the bottom of the video, I did link his, his website and maybe he got a few offers and a few new um, clients from, from me putting this video online. Uh, but as you guys know, I don't make any money from the channel, so I can't really um, uh, give him any of my ad revenue. And uh, sometimes you guys don't believe me, but just so you know, this is my, my YouTube dashboard and this is my analytics session. And just so you know, this is my revenue, which is zero dollars. Uh, it might be that you see on a few videos, like the new number file videos, there might be some ads. And this is actually just due to the original creator claiming the video sometimes. So I don't have any ads uh, and I, I never made one cent from, from this channel, which, which is totally fine for me. But um, I thought, could there be maybe a way that we could support this, uh, th this guy because he's just so, so amazing. And uh, now he has a bit of internet fame but, and, and BBC went to him, which maybe gives him a bit of uh, recognition. But at the same time, he does seem to have this dream of going to this lonely island. And I don't know, maybe I had the idea we could find other ways to, to support him. So I actually had two ideas and please tell me if you think this is stupid. So the first one was that um, I could like start some kind of, um, um, I don't know what it's called, crowdfunding or something uh, where we could collect a bit of money uh, to send him. Obviously, I would send 100% to, to him and um, maybe tell him that we really appreciate uh, his work and uh, that maybe he helped us relax a bit. And uh, maybe this way he could actually fulfill his dream of going to some lonely island, island to some lonely remote island and just doing, um, doing his calligraphy there. Maybe this could be an option. But at the same time, I had a second idea um, that if we just give him money, you won't get any new content from him, which would be a bit uh, unfortunate. So I had the idea to go visit him and make maybe a, a second series because I do have audio and video equipment that could suffice to make an interesting video. I'm not a pro in this regard, but I would be willing to try it. 
And yeah, I have to admit, um, just flying there would cost me like, I don't know, $500 or something. So I'm not sure. I mean, if you say you're totally interested in that, I could maybe also do a crowd crowdfunding so you guys can help me out and I can go visit him and maybe, uh, first of all, just um, yeah, make a video of his art, of his calligraphy, but maybe also just interview him about his, his, his experiences, his philosophy, his wisdom, because that's so interesting to me and maybe it's also interesting to you guys. So yeah, these are two ideas. Maybe you guys have any other ideas or maybe you say, yeah, let's do it. Let's maybe try it. So uh, I would also be happy to give like, I don't know, a hundred dollars or something to him definitely. Um, just for his inspiration and uh, the fact that I really like him. Um, I don't think he makes a ton of money from his calligraphy alone. So um, I don't know, maybe I had the idea we could somehow support him and um, maybe also show him we really appreciate him. So yeah, this was my short video. Um, in any case, thank you so much for, for being on this channel and uh, yeah, just uh, write me in the comments. And yeah, would be super happy to hear from you. And uh, yeah, again, super <laughs> stoked that we made it to BBC somehow. And it's thanks to you as well. So thank you so much and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.